All right, folks, on tonight's cook, we are doing something awesome. I've got a pound of venison burger, a pound of Jimmy Dean premium pork sausage. We got some garlic. We got some onion. We got some panko breadcrumbs, the Italian style. We got kosher salt and pepper here. In my nice little container. We've got an egg. We got some milk. We've got spaghetti. And we've got my everyday tomato sauce. I pulled this out of the freezer last night. It's been in the refrigerator all day, thawing out. This has been thawed out. We're getting ready to mix this up. We're gonna make some meatballs out of the venison and the pork. Oh, it's gonna be some good groceries tonight. All right, I've gone ahead and mixed up the venison and the pork sausage over here. I've got two garlic cloves that I diced up finely and about half of a medium white onion. We're going to go ahead and pull the skillet out and get the onion cooking. While the skillet is warming up for the onions, I went ahead and pulled out a pot and poured in that bag of sauce. We've got it on three. I'm just going to let that go ahead and start simmering and then we'll cut down the temp until it's ready for the spaghetti. All right, our skillet is up to temp. We're going to add in a little olive oil and then we'll get the onions in here. All right, I've got the onion in there. We're gonna let this cook for a few minutes in the oil before I add the garlic. The garlic I'm just gonna to need to cook long enough until it's fragrant. And then we're gonna add that into our meat. All right, while these continue to cook, we're gonna go ahead and mix up our milk and breadcrumb mixture. So it was half a cup of breadcrumbs, half a cup of milk. Now we're just gonna stir this until it's blended together. Onions are starting to look great. Let's go ahead and add in our garlic. While all that's cooking together, I went ahead and preheated the oven to 350. Okay, the onion and garlic has been added into the meat. The breadcrumbs and milk uh, also have been added. Now it's time for the egg. And then we're going to go in by hand and mix it all together. All right, now that all of that is mixed together, we're going to hit it with some salt and pepper. Mix it together one more time, and then we're going to ball up and put on this sheet that I've lined with some parchment paper. All right, now I'm going to put a little bit of olive oil onto my ice cream scooper here and put a little oil on my hands. That way, none of this meat is sticking to me. And let's go ahead and scoop out some balls. So that two pounds of meat yielded about 22 nice-sized meatballs using that ice cream scooper. They're ready to go into the oven. We're going to set them in there on 350 for about 30 minutes. Now that the meatballs are in the oven, pulled out a pot, we're getting ready to boil the water for the spaghetti. All right, the timer has gone off for the meatballs. Let's check on them. Ooh, that's a lot of steam. All right, let's see how they're looking. Uh, those could go for probably another five, six months. We'll put them in there for another five and check on them. All right, so these still aren't brown enough on top. We're going to let them go for about another five minutes. They've been in an additional five minutes. Let's check on them now. Let's see how these are looking. Oh, those are looking much better. Let's give them about another three or four minutes. So what I did here is I went ahead and washed this. We're getting ready to add some of this sauce into the pan, the noodles into the pan. When these meatballs come out, we're going to add a few of those to the pan. We're going to let all those flavors cook together for, I don't know, a minute or so. And then we're going to plate it. It's been another four minutes. Let's Check on them now. Here comes all that steam. All right. Oh, yeah, those are looking good. Let's go ahead and pull those. Yeah. I can see where they're starting to brown up here. Those look good. All right. Now, let's get it all mixed together in one big pan. I went ahead and took a little taste test, and my God, these are good. These are really, really good. Now I've added sauce, I've added noodles, I've added in about six of these meatballs and we're just stirring it around. <coughs> Temp is on three on my, on my stove right there. 
Now we're gonna add some Parmesan cheese and we're gonna cheat a little bit. I don't have any fresh grated, but I do have good old trusty canned. Go ahead and add a good amount of cheese. Stir that all around. Cheese is all tossed in there looking nice. We're getting ready to plate this. And there you have it folks. We've got homemade spaghetti and meatballs with venison and pork sausage meatballs my everyday tomato sauce and look how freaking amazing this looks i added some extra cheese on top a little bit of parsley let's taste it all right it's taste test time let's get a good chunk of meatball here go ahead and spear that and some spaghetti maybe i Need to twirl this around some. There we go. Come on. There we go. Well. <laughs> All right. Yes. Yes. <laughs> so much yes. I might add a little bit more cheese. I like cheese on my spaghetti. But that's it. This is perfect. Mm-hmm. All day. Folks, I hope you've enjoyed the content. If you have, go ahead and hit that like button. If you have yet to subscribe, be sure to hit that subscribe button and the bell icon. That way you get notifications every single time I make a new upload. Hope you are having a fantastic day. This is Cooking with Tatted, and have a good one.